Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back, and I just wanted to come and run my mouth. Now, listen, this video, um, if you, you know, were able to um, participate in the live uh, the other day, then this is nothing new to your ears. Um, so I'm really just going to be repeating the things that I talked about in the live. So for those who don't know, um, I went live the other day. They said that I had a copyright issue in the video so they blocked the live <laughs> and baby, they said girl snatch girl they snatched her so that's why the live is not up so i was like well at least i could just go back and try to you know not you know try and you know do the whole live over but i will just give you the you know the parts that i discussed in the live for those who missed it um i don't know why the video, I mean, they said because of copyright, but they also gave me the timestamp of when it supposedly happened, and it didn't happen in the timestamp that they had. Um, they said it happened at the one hour and four minute mark to the one hour and five minutes, something like that. And at that point, I looked, and I think I, I forgot what I was talking about, but I look, I'm like, girl, I didn't. I was, it's not copyright, girl. These were my own thoughts. Now, at first I was thinking, well, maybe it was that Breakfast Club clip that I played that had to do with Rashida and Curry. But as people can tell you, I always play clips in my lives from Breakfast Club and other places. I've never had this issue before. Um, now, you know, when you play a little music, <laughs> you know, girl, you know, they'll snatch them. Um, so I don't know. I had to send a dispute in. Um, and they said it could take up to 30 days for it to be resolved. So here I am basically again, just regurgitating, you know, some of the things that we talked about in Saturday uh, nights live. So again, if you were there in the live, you know, this is nothing new. Um, but just for those who were not able to attend, you know, this is for y'all. Or if you want to stay, that's fine. You know, sometimes we switch stuff up. Girl, I'm a little greasy. When I tell y'all, baby, girl. So I messed up yesterday. I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all. I messed up and girl, I went out to eat with a friend. I was supposed to go to the gym yesterday. Didn't do it. Went out to eat with a friend, baby. Um, had a, I had I literally had one little margarita. <laughs> I had one little margarita. Girl, I don't know what it is about margaritas. I used to love margaritas back in the day. I will still drink them, but margaritas make me sleepy. Okay, they might be something I've just told myself, but when I tell y'all, I made it back home around. I made it back home around seven thirty because I remember I caught the last thirty minutes of Real Housewives of Atlanta. And um, I just remember waking up. <laughs> all, I know, all I know is I woke up, it was 3.30 in the morning. I said, girl, what? What? I said, no. So yeah, I've been up since three. I said, well, let me go ahead and just, um, um, watch um, uh, Love and Marriage uh, Huntsville. So I watched that. I already took the notes. So as soon as I finish this, I'll just do the Love and Marriage Huntsville review. All right. So anyways, girl, you're y'all past. And that one margarita put me on my baby. All right. So listen, we talked about uh, we talked about LeBron James or LeBron James' son. So for those who don't know, um, LeBron James, uh, it's prom season, so everybody's going to prom, you know, good for, good for the kids, right? LeBron James' son went to prom with a white girl. Dr. Umar Johnson, of course, <laughs> he didn't like that. He p put up a post that said, no disrespect, but yo, LeBron, I thought you were an activist. And he put a picture up of LeBron James' son and LeBron James' date the white girl <laughs> um people felt like dr umar was out of line for i guess you know speaking 
about someone's child. The comment section in the you know in the blogs, they did not like it. So the game came and wrote a post. And he said, literally a child in his prom date. LeBron made it out the mud to provide a better life for his children. And if his son wants to go to prom with someone of any race, he can. It's his child and evidently both parents from both sides are fine with it. Kids are and will always be off limits. Worry about yours. Niggas always got some to project on others, but be scared to look in the mirror at themselves. No disrespect than disrespects. Shaking my head. So him taking the girl to prom, did it bother me? I mean, no. I mean, I, I did I look at it like <laughs> I did, you know. Um, but my whole problem with this entire situation is not even LeBron's son and his date. Um, it's more so people now, you know, coming together to say that kids are off limits. And I see this happen a lot um, when it comes to certain kids. Like, for example, now that it's LeBron James' kid, now kids are off limits. But if it was Zaya Wade, y'all would be in the comment section cut up and acting a goddamn fool. No one would be screaming, that's just a child. No one would be screaming, oh, that's Dwayne Wade's daughter, right? That's Dwayne Wade's child. No one would be saying that. They could literally post a picture of Zaya Wade just taking a selfie in the mirror with a crop top on or a t-shirt, a spaghetti strap shirt, some leggings and a little Chanel bag and the girl's gonna cut up and act the fool. But y'all swear for now kids are off limits. So I'm just trying to understand what are we doing? Are the kids off limits or are it just certain kids? Because if the kids are off limits, that includes LGBTQ kids too. Just not the straight little black boys, sorry. Or just the straight little black girls. Sorry. So if we're gonna if we're gonna say that kids are off limits, it should be across the board, not just when it's your fave celeb's child. No. No. Kids are not off limits, and y'all know that. That's why y'all have no problem getting in the comment section talking about people's kids especially when it says anything LGBTQ, or probably even a kid that you don't like. Quiet as this kept, I remember the comment section used to be ablaze when even they post something about Willow and Jaden. I'm just saying, like if, that, if that's what we're gonna go by, then that's what we're gonna go by. I don't wanna see nobody I, I want to see the same energy when it comes to Zaya Wade and the other LGBTQ kids as as you have for Bronny. That's what that's what I want to see. But I know I'm not, so it is what it is. Um, who else did we talk about? Um, we talked about Joe Budden, and remember he did that uh, interview with the guy named Matt, 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 Matt Hoffa. And, you know, the guy was asking Joe about the comment that he made about him saying that he was bisexual. A part of me does believe that Joe Button is bisexual. Um, I thought Joe, you know, Joe, you know, his reviews, <laughs> shout out to the diva, his reviews are not the best, okay? But what they say, you know, a broken clock is right twice a day. You know, in this in this conversation, Joe was, from what I heard, he was 100% spot on. Um, you know, at the, let's just say Joe Budden was bisexual, okay? Like Joe was saying in the interview, what would it change? And I, I think that's a great question. Like, let's say you you have been knowing someone for years and years and years. Or, you know, even if you just, you're, you're building a friendship. You find out this man, I'm talking about if it was a group of men. 
Let's say it's a group of men and you find out somebody that you run with is bisexual or gay, but we'll just say bisexual. What does that change? Because he's been bisexual. You just found out. So what does it change in the circle? Like why, 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 why now does the friendship amongst the group, why does it have to change? Because you found out this man is attracted to men because he's been attracted to men. So it shouldn't even, it's not even an issue. Cause now you feel as a, oh my God, he's looking at me. Which brings me to my next point. When Matt, Matt Hoff or whatever his name is, he said in the interview, you know, I just want you to know that, you know, I don't really get down like that. And just like Joe said, why do you think that you are a bisexual man's attraction? Like, why do you think that that just because I'm bisexual or you think that I'm bisexual or I say I'm bisexual, whatever Joe said, that I'm automatically attracted to you? Why would you think that? That's another problem. <laughs> I was with Joe, but that's just, to me, that's just straight nigga shit. Like, that's just straight men shit. They think that, if that, that one of the issues besides, of course, religion and also, you know, one of the reasons why men and men and women, I mean, men, gay men and straight men can't be friends is because women, you play a part in that too. It's a lot of layers to peel back, but women play, play a part in that too because have you ever noticed that if a gay man or a bisexual man and a straight man are friends, the women automatically attack the straight man's sexuality? And then the straight men don't want to be friends with the gay men because of what the women say. But y'all don't want to play y'all. Y'all don't want to accept y'all role in that shit either. But y'all have some. Y'all have some parts in that too. Everybody plays a part, okay? Um, most people. But you know, I don't know, girl. Straight men, they be thinking everybody wants them. They think they got access to women automatically just because they a man, and they think that gay men want them. Girl, I'm with Joe. What does it change? If I was bisexual, what changes in this room? If I was bisexual, what changes in this room? Nothing. Anyways, um, who else did we talk about? Um, we talked about Keisha Cole and um, Antonio Brown. Girl, basically Keisha Cole is a fool. Antonio, like she been, she, 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 she knew about the Yelp revo uh, reviews. Shout out to the diva. She knew about the Yelp, the Yelp reviews. She knew the shit is out there. She thought that she would be different. You know how many people were in the comment section when they first po when those pictures first post uh, got posted of Antonio Brown and Keisha Cole. Oh my God! I hope they work out. Oh my God! They look so good together. Oh my God! They so cute. Oh my God! I love it. 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 Girl, just fuck the fact that you hear all of these things about Antonio Brown, you could just Google his name, baby, and the shit will pop up. But Keisha thinking she was gonna be different and he done disrespected her too. <laughs> and now she on the line, now she all on the line talking about, oh, my heart, girl, girl. Y'all gonna stop thinking that y'all are gonna be treated differently than the last. You're not. You're gonna be treated the same or even worse. It's gonna be one of the two. You're gonna be treated the same or worse. Period. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Kiss you, you too old for that. At your big ass age, all on the line. And then even at the end of the conversation that she had with, the, with her little gay friend, what's her name, EJ or something like that, um, it sounded like she was almost willing to say, <laughs> I don't know, girl. You know, girl, whatever, girl. Do what y'all want to do. Rashida and Kirk, we talked about Rashida and Kirk. Um, they were at the breakfast club. I said that I thought Rashida seemed like a nice person. Some of the people in the live said that, girl... <laughs> I guess Rashida, girl, you don't let the nasty taste 
in some of the folks' mouth, okay? Um, but Rashida and Kirk, <laughs> girl, that's another, like, I don't understand. Like, if you go look at the comments under the Breakfast Club interview, y'all will see, like, the people, they really, like, low-key was going up for Rashida and Kirk. And I just don't understand. Like, I don't understand, even if Rashida and Kirk have multiple businesses that are successful, I don't know why my retainer is bothering me. Girl, I wear this retainer all the time and I feel like my tongue can't move. I don't know what's going on. I feel like it's in my way. Um, but I don't care how many multiple businesses that Rashida and Kirk have together. Like, if they're gonna be business partners, be business partners, but that relationship, that marriage is a complete fucking disaster. A complete disaster. A complete disaster. That's why, like, I hate. I, that's why I don't. I hate to be the one to even talk about relationships because the first people, gonna, first thing people gonna say is you ain't even got no man or you ain't in a relationship. You ain't married. You don't know. But the truth of the matter is, <laughs> as much as y'all might not want to accept it, most, most, most. Most of the marriages that we see on reality TV are a hot ass fucking mess. It may be a handful where you're like, oh, okay, they actually okay, they're doing okay. But the majority of them, whether they're on Bravo, VH1, E, girl, we, girl, Zeus, girl, they're horrible. On, girl, on is probably number one. Girl, they're a horrible, hot-ass mess. So I think that when it comes down to it, my opinion and how I feel is going to be different than those who subscribe to just the whole struggle black love story. I'm never going to be here for it. I think that y'all look like complete fools. But y'all also probably think that I'm just some bitter bitch on, on YouTube, which is fine. <laughs> okay? Because I know I'm not. But I'm looking at these marriages. I'm looking at the comments and how people hype up this shit. And I'm like, girl, did we watch the same, the same show? Y'all know this man had a whole baby on this woman. Like, he not he didn't just cheat. Bitch, you was out there fucking somebody wrong and had a baby. A baby. I want to know, and I think I asked this question, I want to know how many men would stay with a woman if that woman cheated and got pregnant by a man. I want to know how many men would stay with their wives if that wife went out, you know, roamed the streets, had an indiscretion, got pregnant, and said, I'm pregnant, but the baby not yours. Would they stay and raise another man's baby? <laughs> yeah. Mm -mm. Honey, if that's the love, then bitch, I don't want it. I don't want it. <laughs> Honey. And that was pretty much it. That was pretty much it. Hopefully, um, you know, the issue with the video gets resolved and I can just post the live because the live was like two hours. So of course I talked about more than this, um, but the live was like two hours. Um, and you know, it was, a, it was a cute little live. Hopefully we can get it resolved, hopefully. If not, then like I said, the time frame that they sent me, that they said the timestamp, Baby, that was not, baby, I don't, baby, baby if y'all don't make my life, baby, y'all don't unblock my fucking video <laughs> and stop playing with me. Shit. If y'all gonna, if y'all gonna say I was doing something I had no business doing, at least let it be right. Y'all wrong as hell. To snatch my video up. Because y'all looked at it, girl, I was like, girl, who's... I'm like, well, let me check my email. Girl, I'm like, girl, who done sent me an email from YouTube? Girl, they said, girl, your video is blocked. Girl, what? And so I'm like, okay, well, let me try to click, girl, let me... Click view options, view options. And then they had the timestamp. And I'm like, well, let me look at the video because I can still look at the video. I can look at the video. Y'all just can't. So I'm like, let me look at the video and see the timestamp. I said, girl, what they talking about? 
I forgot who I was talking about, but I was literally just sitting right here. Wouldn't know what I wasn't playing a video or nothing. I mean, I wasn't playing an audio or anything. So I was so confused. I was like, girl, whatever, girl. Anyways, all right, y'all. Let me go ahead and do the review for Real Housewives. Real Housewives. Um, Love and Marriage, Huntsville. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.